Hey guys, the objective of this video is to consider the section right of the cut from the previous example. So if you haven't watched the last video, I strongly recommend you go back and watch it because this video is just a continuation. So what I've done is I've just redrawn this free body diagram that we developed in the last video. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to cut it at the same point at the mid span like this. And we're going to consider this, um, we're going to consider the right hand side this time. So that's what I've done here. I've just blown up that cut and I have drawn in um, each of the forces that act to the right of the cut. So this 10 kilonewton point load, this five kilonewton per meter um, uniformly distributed load and this 21.25 kilonewton support reaction. And I've also drawn in our shear and our moment. So you'll notice that the moment and the shear go in the exact opposite directions to how I drew them on the left side. And that's the convention when you're doing these things. So if you're cutting from, if you're looking at the right side, you draw them in this orientation. So clockwise and upwards. And if you're cutting, um, and if you're looking at the left section, you draw shear downwards and the moment as being anti-clockwise. So we'll now go ahead and apply our equilibrium equations to this problem. So we'll start off by looking at the sum of the forces in the y direction. So some of the forces in the y direction taking upwards as being positive, simply equal to zero, 